Many of my friends have been asking me, how do I manage to attract good long-term tenant? So today I'm just going to share with you two tips that probably you can use in order to find your own tenant. Many of my friends have been asking me, how do I manage to attract good long-term tenant? This is actually no coincidence. It's built from many years of experience. Whenever I look for a potential tenant for my landlord, I like to ask the potential tenants some questions and see how they respond to the questions. So from the answers, we will be able to gain some insights and information to make a better judgment call and decision. So today I'm just going to share with you two tips that probably you can use in order to find your own tenant. So one of the questions that I like to ask them is, where do you currently stay and uh, why do you choose to move here? Of course, there are many answers. Some are valid reasons and some of them give you very shaky answers. If they give you shaky answers and they try to avoid eye contact, you've got to be careful because they may be hiding something from you. And point number two, judge the book by its cover. People always say it's never judge a book by its cover. But when you come to selecting potential tenant, first impression still counts because you need to make a decision based on the short sting with the potential tenant. A cleanly shaven, well-dressed, well-mannered tenant is likely to look after the house better compared to someone who come to view the house in sloppy dress, filthy fingernails and smelly hair. Because I do believe that uh, how you do anything is how you do everything. So I hope these two tips will be helpful to you when you are looking for your own tenant. I do believe if you are doing this often enough, you will be able to improve on your skill to look for a good tenant. That's all for this episode. Cheers.